In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to handle payout situations on Clover. I'm going to demonstrate how to handle it using native apps without having to pay for any of the paid apps. And I'm also going to demonstrate how to use Redeem Lottery or Negative Tender. And I will explain the difference between these three methods. First, let me show you how to handle this natively in Clover without having to pay anybody for apps. You open register and you click on these three dots and you click on open cash drawer like so all right now you enter the amount you'd like to pay out let's say it's ten dollars like so and then you provide the the reason for uh, payout like so and then you click continue and at this point, the cash drawer will open and you would be able to take the money out and give it to the customer. This transaction will show up in cash log. It will also show up in reports all the way at the bottom of payments. So... Payments. Payments are uh, tender stats and also uh, the, the, the the cash adjustments, cash reports right here. Uh, cash adjustments, lottery ten dollars, and uh, so that's how you handle it on a native app. Now let's take a look at the negative tender and negative tender is different in the sense that you first open the negative tender itself to set up a button Let's call it payout. There it is And then once you go inside You can enter the payout re reasons as a list basically like so right and Once you have the list you're pretty much done here on the app and so this now becomes an option um, on your payment screen so like so there's the payout button on the payment screen and so now you can enter five ninety nine or fifty dollars and ninety nine cents and choose an option from the list and let's say it's a recycling return or vendor payment let's say it's a vendor payment right and so you can also either open register and just hand somebody $50.99 or let's say it's not a vendor payment and it's a owner draw against something that he wants to buy and we can just do this overdraw and then apply as payment um, and so the, the, the it'll apply whatever it can towards the payment that you currently have open and give you the change on the rest of it. Um, and the drawer is open and you can handle it. So the negative tender is good in the sense that there's less manual entry and it's much faster to handle during the transaction and you can predefine your own payout reasons. Lastly, let's take a look at uh, Redeem Lottery app. So Redeem Lottery app has the limitations in the sense that it's specific uh, to lottery games and it uh, cannot be integrated into the register app. So if you're processing a payment um, for the lottery, you open Redeem Lottery app, you click on Redeem Winning Ticket, whatever state you're in, the draw games are already entered here. The scratch-offs are pulled from your inventory. You can basically scan the barcode of the game like so. Let me show you. Right, so these scratchers they have a barcode, this barcode right there, which you can scan uh, and, and, and enter the payout reason. Uh, Instaplay, so this is also predefined by us, right? And online lottery. So if you're handling, let's say, let's do one of these. Five dollars, done, uh, save, save, pay cash. Right, so we just processed the payment 
and let's take a look at the reporting. Again, uh, first let's take a look at the cache log. As you can see, owner draw a lottery refund, all of the three methods gets reflected in the cache log. Um, also get reflected in transactions um, because it's applied towards the payment. There it is, the contender payout, right? And also um, only negative tender is integrated into register and the native approach is also in the register right there. Okay, and these are the three methods of handling payouts. Again, the Redeem Lottery app is specific to lotteries, works for any state that has lottery. Uh, negative tender is not specific to any one reason, uh, can be set up and therefore speeds up the process during the checkout while it's still integrated completely with Clover. Uh, pricing is $2.99 a month for negative tender, $5.99 a month per for Redeem Lottery app, and a free method uh, which is integrated into the register app right there. Uh, open the cash drawer. This is free. Alright, and so that's the demo. Thank you.